Welcome back in the kitchen. I give a shit for God a cooking show, guys. Amazing to be in the kitchen giving you your favorite recipes. Anyway, I love to make you the best recipe them in the whole entire world for you to make it in your kitchen at home and to share with the family and to make the loved one and everyone what happy. Anyway, today I want to give you a nice, lovely Jamaican cornmeal porridge served with some planting. And honestly, it is really nice to serve it, serve it with some hard work bread or some, you know what I mean? crackers are something where you like but anyway the best thing you can ever have during the week or the weekend in the morning is a nice lovely cup of porridge warm go down inside of your tummy make you feel really good next thing what you need to do you know tell your neighbor tell your friend and please follow me on instagram and my facebook page and go over there and follow me guys you know what i mean a lot of stuff going on all right in the kitchen today we want to show you how to do this one yeah jamaican green plant Nice and lovely guys. Things looking good. Look at that. Beautiful over there guys. That is fantastic and amazing. Alright. But what we need to do now is I'm going to be showing you my whole little secret. Alright. So basically I'm going to be using roughly about 3 tablespoons of cornmeal. Alright. That's the cornmeal. Lovely and nice. Inside of the cornmeal, I'm gonna be putting some. I'm losing some reduced fat coconut milk. Guys, I'm giving you some secret. Reduced fat coconut milk does not have a lot of oil. They remove the oil and remove the fat. Alright, so you can get this one in the supermarket or your stores to buy. Nothing wrong using fresh coconut, but I'm telling you, the fresh one have a lot of oil and fat, so you have to be careful. Especially if you're a person who interested in not losing weight. And all these things so as you can see right here i'm going to be using roughly about half can of the coconut milk inside of it lovely and nice now i'm just gonna simply put on a gloves to remove the skin from the planting all right what you do cut off the two edges of the planting draw at the side of it you just simple run the knife at the side take a little time and remove the skin from the green planting. You might have said, where can I get green planting to buy Chef Ricardo? Yes, you can get green planting in your local area. Just go around the corner from the supermarket or from the shop or wherever you are, you can get it to buy. So check it out guys. Nice one. So what I'm gonna do now is just simple cut it up finely, small, in a small bits straight inside of the blender what we're going to do is just going to add a little bit of water to it to flavor the blender right not much just a little bit of water and then we're going to go ahead and take our spoon and just simply put it in do it all right The reason why I don't I like to blend it out really fine. Sometimes I like to feel a little bit of grain or a little bit of the planting inside of it when you're cooking it. And it will cook out just nice to just buy that. But anyway, what I'm gonna do now is to show you how to make this beautiful Jamaican cornmeal and planting porridge. Enjoy the recipe. Chef Ricardo the team, please subscribe, please tell a friend, and a friend, tell a friend. Nice and lovely. So you might have said, Chef Ricardo, how much water you have in this pot right here? Roughly I have two and a half cups of water. And if you notice, I make my water start to boil up first. All right. Once the water start to boil up, yeah, you're good to go. Now, get the mixture and you just add it to it like this. Leave it a lovely little 
twist like this. What you can do is put a little bit of water inside of the blender and rinse it out. Alright, once you rinse it out, you just pour it in like this. Look at that, that is amazing. And I'm teaching you something guys. The less water you have in the pot when you're making the parch is better for you. If you put a lot of water, it's very hard to correct. So you can always add liquid to it. But look at that, that is amazing. Yeah, you see how it look thick? Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna turn on my stove a little bit low because I have it on five, so I'll turn it on a little bit low. So what I'm gonna do, add a little bit of water, not much, a tiny bit of water. Don't get me wrong, you can use milk if you want. So I just add a little bit more water. Yeah, that's perfect. So all I'm going to do is just allow this for it to cook for roughly about 15 minutes on the medium size heat. Alright, look at that beautiful porridge. Fantastic and an amazing. Green planting with cornmeal. Guys, honestly, you will love this one. Early Saturday morning or Friday morning, you're good to go. Nice, I love this. So basically, I have this been boiling over the last 15 minutes just on a medium size heat. You can see the bubbling. It's not boom and a bubble up and a boil over and thing. That's how you make your porridge at home. Now, simple. Give it a whisk. And then you give it a check. You just use a, you know I mean, a whisk and just check it like this. So what I mean? If you see how it's a beef. Perfect. This is perfect. Now, what I'm going to do, we're going to add sea salt because I love to use sea salt. Yeah, sea salt is very healthy. I'm just going to put a little bit of sea salt in it. Now, we're going to put some Jamaican nut egg. Jamaican mixed spice. Jamaican cinnamon powder. just want to give it a little bit you don't want to put too much of them you know and Jamaican vanilla you might have said chef ricotta is not Jamaican see the flag yeah <laughs> you have the flag there they ship these things ship all the way from Jamaica to chef ricotta now we're gonna simple you can get them in the local shop or your supermarket in your ear don't get me wrong I'm joking <laughs> all right so you can see right here I'm doing right now I'm just gonna give it a lovely whisk all right what I want to simply say to you, two things you can either do, two things you can do when you're making this purge. Alright guys, I'm going to say simple. You can also use sweet condensed milk or brown sugar. Alright, right now if I use brown sugar, vegan, welcome to this. If I use sweet condensed milk, vegan can't have it. But, you know what I mean, to be honest, I'm not a vegan, so... You know what I mean? I'm gonna use some sweet condensed milk to sweeten it. Alright, so with the sweet condensed milk now you have to sweeten and taste as it goes along. Don't do a chef recorder though. You know what I mean? Because I'm a chef and I know how to balance it off. Alright, so you just put some sweet condensed milk in it. 
give it a whisk like this and the color gonna definitely change to a lovely creamish color what you're looking for if you use brown sugar it's gonna stay brown all right and all you have to do is simple get a teaspoon and taste it and see if you need any more ingredients mm. to be honest 150 percent is perfect because i know what i'm doing so i can make it that way but if you don't know what you're doing you take a little time you add a little bit you add a little bit and taste as it goes on all right so basically we're just gonna just leave this now for another seven minutes make it warm boiling let the ingredients boil into it and we'll be all right to serve after all right thank you nice and lovely as you can see it is boiling so i'll give it another good seven minutes now for make it boil and thing so what i'm gonna do now is turn off my stove and serve it look at that nice and beautiful one all right so enjoy the recipe and remember subscribe is very important please tell a friend tell your neighbor tell your family and make the good news spread all right enjoy the recipe and i will see you with more recipe like this guys look at that amazing thank you for watching and decide to share this with you guys you know jamaican green planting and caramel porridge look at this perfect perfect guys that is perfect all right guys enjoy the recipe subscribe please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend and this is how we normally do it in Jamaica you know what I mean if you have crackers you can use crackers you know what I mean you might have said that look like baby food no this is a real authentic Jamaica hard one bread on top good to go please enjoy the recipe subscribe tell a friend and a friend tell a friend we have a lot more recipes a lot more ideas as I said Jamaican green planting with caramel and it's just amazing recipe so I will see you next time in the kitchen all right guys so if you like the recipe give me a thumbs up subscribe and click on the notification bell tell a friend and a friend tell a friend stay tuned and i will see you next time in the kitchen with more recipe from chef ricardo and the team early morning chain rice planting and caramel porridge see you next time